Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. Even though super fast solid state drives or SSDs are all the rage for high performance PCs these days, you still can't beat a good old fashioned mechanical hard drive if you need lots of storage space for not a lot of money. But which one do you choose? Even though hard drives are all relatively slow compared to SSDs, you'll still find that they vary in price, performance, and features. And this isn't just due to differences in how fast they spin. Although that is a significant factor. So the spindle speed, denoted in RPM, is how many times the disk platters rotate per minute. So all other things being equal then, the faster this is, the faster data can be read and written and the lower the seek times or latency are. But all other things aren't equal. You see, for example, some hard drives are made to be tougher than others. You'll often see these marketed as NAS grade, enterprise, or surveillance drives. The idea is that for these kinds of applications, the hard drives, they don't get to spin down and go to sleep like they would if they were installed in a typical desktop. They have to be up and running around the clock. I mean, think about how web servers need to be able to serve content 24 hours a day, or how surveillance cameras have to constantly record footage. But how exactly do you make a hard drive tougher? And is this a feature that's worth paying extra for? Let's start by looking at a simple way that drive manufacturers stabilize their server grade products. They will actually attach the motor that spins the platters to both the top and the bottom of the drive's housing. Consumer hard drives, by contrast, often anchor the motor only to the bottom of the unit. This extra stabilization is important because NASs and servers typically have many drives spinning and clicking away next to each other in close quarters, which means more vibration. Higher end drives also try to avoid errors with more precise actuators that move the read and write head around the disc. They'll incorporate stronger magnets inside that can accelerate the head more quickly, and the heads themselves will even be narrower. This means that the empty space between data tracks on the platter can be made physically larger, giving the drive a larger margin for error in the event that something like a sudden physical shock occurs. And when things do go wrong, higher end drives can to an extent, compensate for mishaps. Many of these hard drives have built-in sensors that can detect shocks, vibrations, and even temperature changes, which will tell the drive to adjust how the head positions itself over the platters, preventing the drive from slowing down too much. Some of them can even get rid of problematic air bubbles that can form inside the fluid dynamic bearings that help the platters spin. So that's all pretty cool, but if you just need more storage for your Steam library, you probably don't need anything more than a typical consumer grade drive, as it won't be exposed to either the physical risks or the demanding workloads that the more expensive drives are designed for. So for you, the viewer, it probably does just come down to performance, capacity, and price. With that said, if you're running a home NAS to serve media within your home or even over the internet, a NAS drive is probably gonna be a good choice and these can even be a good bet if you're running a RAID array in your PC since the drives tend to be quite close together and NAS drives are built to withstand vibration. Or if you know for a fact you're only using this hard drive for archival purposes where you'll be writing to it once and then only really reading from it over time, shingled magnetic storage drives can be a good bet. They're much slower to write to, but their read speeds are more than acceptable and they do tend to be cheaper because manufacturers can get more density out of the platter by actually overlaying tracks on top of each other, just like shingles, hence the name. The last edge case for home users is probably surveillance drives, which I guess leads us perfectly to another key, but not very obvious difference from one model to another firmware. Hard drive manufacturers can optimize their devices for better performance in certain workloads, and surveillance drives are designed to handle many simultaneous streams of data concurrently in a way that drives that were made to boot your operating system simply can't. Their read speeds might be a little bit slower, but a good surveillance drive will make it more likely that you can get a positive ID on that guy who took your hoop pudding and your roast beast. Speaking of beast, 
private internet access VPN is one beast of a VPN. Not only does PIA work on up to five devices at once, hiding your true IP address and allowing you to bypass geo restrictions and censorship, it also blocks unwanted connections to help prevent attacks, auto blocks all traffic if the VPN disconnects, keeps your data out of the hands of advertisers and other snoops, and it even includes MACE, PIA's built-in malware blocker. PIA supports multiple VPN protocols and encryption levels, so you can dial in the level of protection that you need, and they've got apps for Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, Linux, and a Chrome extension. PIA has over 3,000 servers in 28 countries, and they do not log user activity. So what are you waiting for? Check out PIA at the link in the video description. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, dislike, check out our other videos. Don't forget to, uh, oh yeah, leave a comment if you have a suggestion for a future fast as possible, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You know, if we made a, a, a law about like subscribing to us, it would be called the Subscribe, Subscribe, Subscribe Act. Smash like. Smash like.